fans, and welcome to the Kurt Sports Show. I'm your host, Kurt London, giving you the play-by-play -play highlights, all the good stuff. Tonight, we're going to have a few things to talk about. First, ending on a Game 7 Western Conference Semifinals, it's the Memphis Grizzlies and the OKC Thunder. They'll give you highlights of that. And then also, as OKC won that game, they will preview for Tuesday night's game against the Dallas Mavericks. Then, we'll also talk about a later nightcap game that was the Chicago Bulls and the Miami Heat in Chicago, game one of the Eastern Conference Finals, and tell you what happened with that. All right, more stuff coming up and give you some more things. But first, we'll get to the OKC and Memphis game. Just a moment. Game seven of these Western Conference semifinal playoffs are still going on as Kevin Durant was ready. And also Zach Randolph, he wants it. Whoever wins gets to play the Dallas Mavericks in the conference finals. And Mike Conley Jr. proved that very well in the early going with a pretty reverse move. As Memphis was up early, but then the defense by the Thunder started going as the block by Collison. And then here comes Westbrook scooping it up down the lane and in. And then OKC started to figure it out as James Harden went down the sideline, floats up a jumper and then James Harden started off playing very good in the opening. Then Westbrook, good pass to Kevin Durant for three. Bang! Kevin Durant was feeling it early. Then one more time, Westbrook to Durant. Bang! Oh, once again, Kevin Durant really, really had the touch. Then we head to the third quarter. Zach Randolph, he started to get going. Jump shot was good. Zach Randolph, he had one of the good games, but not a great game like he usually had. Then Westbrook to Durant. I know Durant was shocked at that pass because that was a great alley-oop to Kevin Durant. And then Conley Jr., open three. That's good. And Memphis quietly coming right back into the game. But then great defense by the Thunder as they steal the ball. James Harden comes up. Good pass to Durant, open three. Bang! Got the crowd up on their feet. Then Durant with a block. And then here comes the Thunder back up the floor. Westbrook back to Durant once again. Bang! Kevin Durant looking like a machine. He's on fire right now. And then James Harden, exclamation point of the third quarter. Bang! Whoa! A crossover move three-pointer. And that ended the third and the Thunder were by up by 14. Then in the fourth, O.J. Mayo for the Memphis Grizzlies tried to get them back into it. But it was just too much thunder as Westbrook off the screen, mid-range, good. And then another one, Westbrook off the screen to Durant. Oh, Kevin Durant, just amazing how he just gets up off his feet and dunks it with power. Then Westbrook back to Durant. Oh, Kevin Durant. It's a huge game for him. Then the defense by the Thunder. They get it to Westbrook. To Harding. Touch pass to Durant. Just an amazing, amazing teamwork by the Oklahoma City Thunder. As they win the series over the Memphis Grizzlies. 105-90. to once again, that final score from Oklahoma City in Game 7 of that semifinals was 105-90 to over the Memphis Grizzlies. As the Memphis Grizzlies played hard, just could not contain that Oklahoma City Thunder scoring. As Kevin Durant had 39 points and 8 rebounds, while West Russell Westbrook had 14 points, 14 assists, and 10 rebounds. A triple-double for him. You know, Memphis had Randolph. He struggled, but had 17 points and 10 rebounds. And Michael Conley Jr. led the, the scoring for the Memphis Grizzlies with only 18 points in the game as their leading scorer. Memphis had a great run as they did try. They battled and they swept the Spurs, but now they'll go back to Memphis. And hopefully next year, signing contracts and keeping Marcus All, the team will be better. And maybe you'll get back and probably get to the conference finals the next year. Now we'll preview the matchup of OKC and the Dallas Mavericks. Now, the Mavericks have a season series record of 2-1 during the 2011 season over the Thunder. But, you know, we got leading scorers like Kevin Durant, who's averaging in the playoffs right now 29 points a game, and Dirk Nowitzki, who's averaging 26 points a game. I think these two teams will really come together. I think this will be a great seven-game series. I don't know what's going to happen, but I believe that it's going to be a great seven-game series. I don't know who can win. I picked the Mavs to win in seven, but... 
Give me your thoughts on that too. Maybe we'll see what happens. Highlight: We got the Miami Heat and the Chicago Bulls. Game one of the Eastern Conference Finals as Derrick Rose, MVP's ready. The reigning before MVP was LeBron James. He was ready. Dwayne Wade back home in Chicago as Miami. He started out playing great defense as LeBron James throws it to Wade. He slammed it down to start it off early for the Miami Heat. Then a steal by James. James all the way past Rose. Dumped it right over Dang. And he looks at the crowd. And the uh, Heat were up early. But then Derrick rolls all the way to the basket. Puts it up and in. Just a tough move. And pretty play by Rose. Then Chalmers. And the Heat lose the ball. And then if you watch this play over and over again. Taj Gibson. Unbelievable play as he dunked it over Wave, and that might be the play of the playoffs as Taj was just excited and got the crowd going. Then the Bulls offensive rebound as Noah slammed it back up and in. Joe Kim Noah played a big part in the offense and defense of Chicago. And then a good play back to Noah again, but then Carlos Boozer get into the act. As the Chicago Bulls started going crazy in that second quarter. Then the Heat has, oh, Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh played very well in this game. He had a huge game over Carlos Boozer. Then we head to the third as LeBron James got past the Bosh again. Chris Bosh, nobody can hold this guy. Wow. And then the Bulls started running. Yes, Derrick Rose for three. Derrick Rose had a nice game. Then Rose comes off another screen. All the way floater. That's good. Derrick Rose starting to play MVP honors like he has done all season. Then the fourth comes up. And then Asik, the rookie from Chicago. Wow, that was a nice dunk. And then a good pass. CJ Watson, the Brewer. Brewer got hyped up into the act. And Chicago started going off. Then Rose out to Dang for three. Bang! As they rattled in. Luau Dang. What a huge game. And then Rose cross over will pull up. Bang! It's just an MVP setting for Derrick Rose. Then C.J. Watts another three. No, but Taj Gibson once again. Is he getting another play of the playoffs? Unbelievable. Got it off the tap. One hand pounds it back in. And just... A stellar night, highlight night for Taj Gibson and the Chicago Bulls as they take the series 1-0 as they defeat the Miami Heat. 103-82. That final from Chicago was 103-82 as the Bulls defeated the Miami Heat in Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Derrick Rose had a great game. He had 28 points and 6 assists. The MVP still playing stellar in these playoffs. Lua Dang helped them out also with 21 points and 7 rebounds. The Heat only had Chris Bosh who had 30 points and 9 rebounds. And LeBron James who really struggled the whole night only had 15 points and 6 rebounds. Wade didn't really come out very well. The Chicago bench played very well as Kyle Korver and Tosh Gibson really, really helped out the Bulls on the bench. C.J. Watson also, even Brewer. The Bulls bench is really better than a Miami's bench, and I think the key to this series is really the benches, and I think the Chicago Bulls bench is a lot better than Miami's bench. Don't get me wrong now. The starters on the Heat are kind of better than the Chicago Bulls starters, but same thing with the benches, though. I think the benches and extra players are a key for this series, and I think this will go to seven also. I think the Bulls could win in seven if they play play fast pace. The Heat could win in seven if they play half court game. So we'll see what happens with that matchup. Well, that about do it for this segment of the Kurt Sports Show. I want to thank you for tuning in, listening to me, and watching this video. And this is one of the great things I love to do, and I'm glad to be back. And we're talking about the playoffs, the conference final series, and looking up into the NBA Finals coming up in a couple of weeks. This is Kurt London saying so long here from the studios. I want to thank you very much. Peace, love. You already know. See you next time. We'll talk about the series more.